Introducing first from Tokyo, Japan, the Great Sonata! Hello, everybody, and welcome to TNA Explosion. It's Jamie, Jeremy Borash, along with Josh Matthews, getting set for this Explosion exclusive matchup with Sonata. Headed to the ring, set to do battle this week. We've seen his highs and lows with the revolution this time out. It's singles action from the Japanese native Sonata, set to do battle here this week on TNA Explosion. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, Rockstar Fun! He is the winner of the first season of TNA's British Boot Camp reality show that aired in the United Kingdom. And has since gone on to main event, Wembley Arena. Not too bad for a kid from Birmingham, England. Rockstar Spa. Josh, certainly a long and winding road for Rockstar Spud to get to where he is today. These two about to do battle. What is this? Why does Spud have that stupid hat on? Put up your Dukes. I never understood why they call them Dukes. Your Dukes, you know, your your fists. Put up your Dukes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not smarted there from Sonata, who takes a bow after that. Why does Sonata have so much tape on his fingers? Let's go. Okay? Come on. Come on. One more time. And for a second time, Sonata appears to have outsmarted the Birmingham native. That smarts too when you get caught right, right in that area, right below your ear. He's fired up. A third time now. There you go, Spud. He goes downstairs and Kobashi chops. Spud's fired up. What a way to kick off explosion. And listen to this crowd. Definitely in the top realm. Ooh, just like that. Tripped up and landed on his back. The hard way. Rockstar right, Spud. Right you are, Cotton. Oh, Ooh. that. So called Cotton. What's your nickname? Is that Blue Mist coming out of the mouth of. Do you like your nickname? No, I've been going. Sonata. Jeremy Cotton Borash. We're going to figure this out as Spud needs to recoup, get himself back in the matchup in contention when we return here on Explosion. Now back on Explosion. And it's Rockstar Spot taking on Sonata. Sonata on the cover and second attempt. Boom goes the dynamite, Captain. All through the matchup, it has been Sonata since we took that break. Spud recouped on the outside of the ring, but it was met with a flurry of offense upon arrival back into the ring. Nothing like getting hit with a flurry of offense. I like, I like Sonata's uh, style here. Ooh, ooh, man. Just doesn't even flinch. The thing about the face paint, it's kind of hard to read his, his facial expressions and sometimes to Figure out your opponent, you need that. Ooh. Now he's trying to rearrange the face of Spud. That's actually a great point. Um, a lot of athletes, they will they will use face paint uh, to try to intimidate their opposition. 
and, and that could be something that Sonata is doing here against Spud, and you can't read his face, facial expression. You can't see. A lot of athletes use face paint. Who, Phil the Power Taylor? Does he come out with a, who comes out with face paint? Football players, defensive linemen, they will, uh, it, it's, a, it's a form of. In American football. Yeah, it's a form of intimidation uh, dating back to the days of uh, Warriors. And outside the ring, referee Brian Stifler distracted. It's illegal. As you see, Sonata taking every chance he can, every advantage he can take. And he knows a victory over Rockstar Spud would be big. Yeah, but I mean, Sonata here, he's, doing, he's, he's wisely telling the referee to look outside the Why is Stifler listening to Sonata looking outside the ring? It'd be like me playing baseball and telling the umpire, hey, don't watch these next few pitches. Yeah, take a look over there. Yeah, go look, look and see what the fans are doing. Cover. I mean, if you're a referee, and you could be so easily distracted and manipulated. Maybe it's time to get another profession. Maybe Stifler should go do something else. Well, the referees are put through stringent tests. Really? Well, what Licensing, what not. Oh, did you see that standing moonsault into a drop kick to the ground? Cover. And I'll tell you what, that's what Spud has. Spud has the fight. He may not have the size, he may not have the strength, he's got the fight, and that may outdo both size and strength. Why did Sonata need to do a standing back flip and then do the drop kick? Do the drop kick, Sonata. Are you tell him how to wrestle now? Yeah, yeah. I used to be pretty good at this thing. And there it Spot firing up. He's seen enough, he's had enough. Mustered it up from deep down inside. Spud. Third elbow. There's going to be more. Oh. The fourth, he went for the kick, and that was enough to take down Sabata. Now stop. Oh. Love the offensive Come Rockstar Spud. Well, he has nailed everything thus far in this matchup. Look at Underdog. Wow. There Got it is. It. Bulldog. It's over. Victorious over Sonata. And after that, we may never see Sonata again. Nice victory there by Rockstar Spud connecting with the underdog. That's why he throws up the U. The U. And a victory. Out with Spud too. That's the underdog, the finishing maneuver. Rockstar Spud enough to take Sonata out. And add another win to the win column. I had, well, a great call too. Native I, had, I had a great call on that match. You're fantastic. Come on back next week. Maybe I will. I'll be here. Rockstar Spud victorious. On explosion over Sonata. Ford, we come back.